okay. I went over to my computer that has the lease for the 1.100 address and I couldn't get to the internet. So on my client computer, what I did was is I brought up a command prompt and in the command prompt on my client, not on this server, I did an IP config space slash all. And when I did that, I got the information for uh, my gateway and my DNS as well as my IP address. And I saw that I didn't have a gateway address and DNS address I had, but I was thinking I could improve on that so that we could get internet on my client, right? So if even if I handed out the 1.100 address, I need to also hand out my gateway address and some good DNS information. So this is how I fixed it. And I fixed it, so I'm just going to re-show you what I did. I went to server options here, right? And you can see here that it has that uh, DNS servers, that's my gateway, my router. But what I want to do is I want to add to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and this is one once again under server options, I can double click that and you can see here DNS servers and I can add this server, this Windows 2008 server to the list because I have DNS services running when I installed Active Directory. I also installed DNS. So one, and then my server IP address is 192.168.1.13. And so I'll add that. And so that will add to DNS services and I'll click apply and I'll click OK. So now I have my router's DNS server and I have this server, Windows 2008 server also under DNS. But I really need a router here. Without a router it's not going to work. So I'm not sure why the wizard didn't include it but I can fix it here. I can just click on right click on server options, configure options and you see the second setting here is for a router. I'll check mark that and I'll put in the router address here. And that's the gateway address. So I'll click add and apply and click OK. So now this um, DHCP server should be handing out the router and the DNS as well as the um, address lease, uh, the scope, right? The address pool 100 to 150. So, um, and this, you, you can check under scope options that 1.1 router and DNS servers are also part of the scope as long with, along with the DNS domain name. So now on my client computer I need to do an IP config release or renew, an IP config renew to try to get my client computer to renew that and we'll see if we can get that to work on my client. Okay, it worked. On my client machine I'll go here to add, I went to 192.168.1.100 off screen, I went to this client and I did an IP config uh, space forward slash renew in, uh, with an administrative uh, command prompt. And then I did an IP config space slash all and I picked up my gateway address on my client and I picked up the extra DNS and sure enough I have internet access now on my client.